Whoa, HP just came out with a new laptop, much like an Ultrabook, the HP Dev 1 built for developers. Let's check this out. And with the claim that it's built for developers, we hope it runs Linux and it sure does. Pre-installed with Linux Pop OS to a tuned Linux keyboard with a super key. I believe they're talking about System 76's keyboard launch, which is the model name. We'll check it out a little bit later down in this web page. But let's talk laptop. This is pretty cool, in my opinion. A sub $1,100 laptop. Now, what exactly do you get with this? And why does it come with powerful features and tools to help you code your way? Well, we can talk about that mainly. We already know what that is about. You get Linux on there and it makes it a lot easier to code with a package manager to pre-install all sorts of great tools and fun stuff. So let's go check out the rest of this. So the claim here is that it is the developer's laptop. That's how it's branded across the board here on HP's website. So what do they claim a developer's laptop comes with? Well, again, Pop! OS pre-installed. An 8-core Ryzen 7 Pro processor, so some mobile processor here, with 8 cores. Well, that's pretty powerful, especially since it's a 7-series AMD Ryzen processor. Multiple apps running in parallel with 16 gigs of DDR4, 3200 MT per second. Not bad. Hopefully, you can upgrade this memory even further for us who use a ton of applications in the background or memory consuming applications that is such things as multiple web browsers going up and multiple tabs, all that fun stuff, including other device emulators in the background. That can take up a lot of memory, although this is pretty quick memory for a laptop, not so bad. 16 gigs, again, not so bad. Hopefully you can upgrade that. For a $1,100 computer, I can say that's probably fair. Master your files with a one terabyte PCI Express drive and an NVMe M2 slot SSD storage drive. Not bad. One terabyte of space is plenty of space, at least for me. Most laptops are going to give you under that. Code on a 14-inch screen. It's got the 1920 by 1080 Full HD resolution with a 1,000 nit display. That's a pretty good display. Pretty bright there. I personally like 14-inch displays. 13, I think, is too small. And 15 can get a little bit too cumbersome. So... 14 is a nice sweet spot. And finally, experience stellar graphics performance with AMD Radon graphics. They don't specify a model here, but I'm assuming this is a model that's integrated and not dedicated. So that's the hardware that it can potentially come with. Of course, you can build your own, so check it out as necessary. Let's keep going on to understand what we're getting so with the CPU, you can go up to 4.4 gigahertz max boost clock, 16 threads. And when things are sitting still, you got a 1.9 gigahertz base clock with L3 cache and 16 megabytes of that. It is the 580 50U processor, which again is the mobile version. Memory we've already talked about. So it's two times eight gig up to 64 gigs of memory. Now that's what I like to see. So it looks like there's two slots available. So you can do two times 32 gig memory and it's so dim memory, which is fantastic. And especially because it says it's upgradable by the user. Some laptops are really hard to upgrade. So I'm glad to hear that, that there's nothing soldered down to the laptop itself, making it impossible to do anything. Some modern laptops come with soldered memory and it just becomes a pain to upgrade those types fantastic they do have the developer in mind let's keep looking through and seeing what else is available here it says one terabyte of that pci express three by four mvme m2 two 280 solid state drive wow that is a mouthful but up to three gigabytes per second sequential transfer speeds which is great they make no mention of the fact that there's multiple slots but we'll see maybe later down the road if there is. One of the things that we can't understate is the fact that you get Pop! OS by default in this computer, pre-installed, ready to go. For those of us wanting the Linux experience, this is great. Knowing that Pop! OS can go on here, we'll know that'll mean that most Ubuntu-based Linux distros will work fine on this laptop. 
It also means that all the hardware in here is supported by Linux since HP will have to back that up. And I just mean the claim that it can run Linux. And since they're installing it on there, great. Here it's showing us the window tiling support that's available in POP. As we can see the four windows, which is great with the keyboard as well as using the mouse for support. You can go between those modes, tiling or floating windows. It's fantastic if you haven't tried it out on Pop! OS, make sure to do so. I also have videos about Pop! OS all over the channel, so make sure to dig through and find some of those. Put you on a little Easter egg hunt there. Let's keep moving on. Get, is there more information here? Basically, this is just showing off Pop! OS at this point, showing you tools that give you efficiency with stacking and all sorts of other stuff. It shows that Pop! OS gives you access to thousands of apps. We all know this free and open source as well as some of these that are proprietary on Linux, but great to use alongside your development, all built into or can be installed on Pop. I did just notice on here with this ultra portable laptop, it looks like they actually have a small mouse that you can use with one finger. A lot of us know this from Lenovo laptops. I believe that's what that is. I haven't seen mention of it quite yet, but maybe we will see some. And here in this picture, if we look a little closer, we can definitely see something there. It looks like a little finger trackpad. Some people really like those. I'm personally not a fan, but for those of you who are used to using them, looks like you can rejoice as you do get one with this HP Dev1 laptop. Again, just showing off their laptop and a coding session going on, what looks like in the background with Visual Studio. Don't install Visual Studio if you're on a Linux environment. You have VS Codium without the telemetry from Microsoft. Why ruin a great IDE? Boost your productivity with the HP Dev1. Looks like the partnership with System76 is strong here because this right here is their launch keyboard which was released quite a few months ago at this point and has a decently large price tag at $285. It is a very well designed keyboard that comes from the United States straight out of Colorado. So if you want to support the people at System76 you can check out their site and of course download Pop OS today and start using it on an older or new laptop. You don't have to necessarily buy one. But if you are in the market for buying a new laptop and you want Linux on it, this might be a great place to start. I love seeing these types of offerings becoming more and more mainstream. What the most exciting part of this is, is this is a large laptop manufacturer trying to test out the waters a little bit more in order to see if people are going to bite on an all Linux based laptop that comes with their hardware pre-installed. And the other thing is it makes these laptops cheaper. Some of the other offerings that we've had in the past, even from System76, have just been expensive for very similar quality laptops, if not with lesser hardware specs. So it's great to see this development in Linux. Finally, towards the end here, the entire specs here, you can actually get a data sheet downloaded and look through things yourself to see if this is something that you would consider buying. I'll make sure to post a link in the description below so you can check out the laptop and see the rest of this spec information. Of course, there's a lot more to this that you may be interested in, especially things like the form factor and the weight, which is around 3.24 pounds, what the warranty looks like and other various things. Make sure to download that spec sheet and check things out. This is great. Also, let me know what you think about this laptop in the comment section below. What other Linux distribution would you want to install on here? And if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please make sure to post them below. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for more Linux and programming videos. Catch me in a great community on Discord, and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching.